Hey guys, welcome to another. No, 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 that's bad. That's bad. We have a vlog, and we're going to be showing it to you because you care. Hey guys, this is Flick in a Flash. My name is Bruno Rodriguez. I'm here with I'm my Javier. Oh my God, interrupting me always. And we made a short film last year that got nominated for the All American High School Film Festival. So we're here in New York City, and I am going to show the trip and that's to you guys. Sorry, because it's New York City. And bounce. What's up guys, I'm headed to Houston. We leave for New York tomorrow, but the flight's at six, so we have to leave the house by like three. But El Camino is coming out tonight. I wanna get some sleep, so I'm probably gonna go to bed at like eight, try to get some sleep from eight to 12. So I'm very excited for tonight. Tomorrow's gonna be amazing. I'll keep you guys updated and enjoy the vlog. Now that's a greeting. People just don't do it like dogs do it. Find I me mean, one person that will spin around in circles when they see you. I dare you. Go ahead. Made it home, prepping for the review of El Camino. Got a little setup here, some lights, a little candle. It's my friend Javier. <laughs> so upset right now. This movie does not come out for another two hours. <laughs> uh, we made it to the airport. To the airport. Not gonna talk about last night. Still upset, but I'll watch the movie. Hopefully tonight, have the review out. Um, yeah. <laughs> Hey guys, so made it to the hotel. Have you ever feeling a little tired, so he's taking a nap, which means I can watch Breaking Bad. So I watched El Camino, just reviewed it, and I'm editing the video right now. Um, then we got to get some dinner. Five PM. This is breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I haven't eaten since three AM. Been up all day.
Hey guys, so we've been at screenings all day. Some of them have been really good, some not so good, but now we are getting lunch and this place is packed. But I'm guessing the wait is worth it because they are the number one tacos in New York. Film Festival and Photog Fest, the world's largest gathering of emerging student artists. Congratulations to all of our talented filmmakers and photographers. So yeah, the screening went great, only got about 30 minutes of standing ovation or something, so it's like, eh, but, you know, pretty good. <laughs> Just kidding, but, no, in all seriousness, it was great to see the film on the big screen, it was a big honor that it was played at, you know, AMC in New York. So, very happy with how it turned out. So we just ate a really great dinner at John's Pizza, and we are now headed back to the theater for the best of the fest. Should be great. You are in for a treat tonight. The best of fest screening you selected. Good morning, guys. It is now Sunday. We watched the best of the fest yesterday, and they were great. We are now headed to Dunkin' Donuts. I've tried to make this video a bunch of times, I'm really in my head about it, because making a good movie is hard. Sometimes it takes a lot of takes to get it right. Why is this video important? I guess to inspire a new generation of filmmakers. And uh, that's you. Every filmmaker is different, and what makes a filmmaker good is their unique perspective. So search for your perspective and don't let anyone push you away from what makes you unique as an artist. Ground control by Quinn Fluet. My name's Quinn Fluet. I was the writer and director of uh, Ground Control. Do you mind telling us a little about the experience filming? Uh, it was just, it was really fun. Like I'd or Zach, come on. I just like, so I had a great cast. I had Zach and our uh, friend Lindsay were the two lead actors and like they were great. Like my crew was just really collaborative. Lots of running gun. Uh, we shot, mo I think we shot their scenes all in three days. What do you think made you stand out above the other ones? 
Oh, I think we just had like, I don't know, I think it just like it all came together nicely. I think the score, I'm sad that the score didn't get recognition, but my friend's score I thought was like my favorite part of it. Like I thought like everything just tied together nicely and like I like I'll pat myself on the back for it because it's everyone tying together nicely. So I thought that was nice. Again, thank you for your time. Yeah, of course. Tell us a little bit about the experience of making your movie. Uh, yeah, it was a lot of fun. I, I couldn't do it without my mom. She's over there. But uh, yeah, we produced it within like a two or three week span. Oh, and then we shot it. We shot it in two days. Uh, and uh, I got my actors friends, my, my friend Bentley. Shouts out to Bentley. Dante Brown. Uh, well, who's my brother actually? Bentley's on Skyfall, and my brother is shooting something right now actually, and he's on a movie called Ma, and I'm also an actor. But shouts out to them and shouts out to my parents because they it would not be possible without them. What do you think made your film stand out above the other ones? Uh, the, the maybe maybe diversity. As far as diversity, there needs to be a little more. Uh, as far as like African Americans or people of color, so I feel like that was something that was as far as what's different about my film and telling a story from I guess an African American perspective. But yeah, it was overall. A very strong story. I absolutely love it. It was actually the one I was like completely I'm hoping it would win. I'm really thank glad it did. Thank, thank you so you, much man. for thank your time. You. Congratulations. No, thank you guys. This is fun. Um, I'm Oliver Fredrickson, Carmel Valley. I made Keys, 3D animated film. It took about like seven months um, writing and animating everything and uh, storyboarding. A huge process and I really wanted to quit. Um, quit so many times but I really wanted to have an end product just to have. I didn't expect all this. It was really yeah. cool. Um, but yeah. I really just wanted something cool to look back on and like share a story. That's awesome. And what do you think made your film stand out? Um, I think just 3D animation. I don't see a lot of 3D yeah, animated films, like that was student great. films. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, and I, I wanted to make my own music with it. I want to do everything by myself, um, writing, everything. And I thought that was like, I thought that stood out. Well, congratulations yeah. on your award. Thank you so Thanks much, so man. much for your time. Thank you, thank you. Hey guys, so we were on our way back to the hotel. Had a great time at the award ceremony. We got to interview a few of the winners, which we came up with the idea to interview them literally right there. So I hope you guys enjoyed them. Um, I really enjoyed talking to them. And yeah. <laughs> Hey guys, what's up? Back from New York, on my way to Waco. Landed in Houston a few hours ago. Got lost in the Houston airport for about half an hour. It's insane. Couldn't find the terminal, couldn't find my car. But finally got out, went to lunch with my family, and now I'm driving back to Waco. Hey guys, I'm back in Baylor, finally made it home. I missed two days of class, but I'm really glad I went. It was totally worth it. I hope you enjoyed the interviews. That was kind of a last minute thing. They had really good films, and if you want to check them out, I'll put the link down in the description. I know this is different from the reviews I would usually do, but I kind of wanted to share this experience with you guys. Making this vlog was a lot more work than I thought, so if you enjoyed it, please make sure to leave a like. Um, I'm gonna try to go see another movie tomorrow, and I'll have the review out tomorrow night, hopefully. If not, again, I hope you liked this video, and I'll see you guys next week.